basic the council that implying that you can put a, a cesspit in this property here? Yes. But if you look on the details, uh, what they're suggesting is a two metre, a two metre cesspit which won't fit in here. Right. And, and there's not one smaller. Than two metres. Not, and apart from that, according to building regulations, you're not you're meant to site a cesspit within seven metres of a property, so the whole thing's... Yeah, it's true. Huh? The whole thing's really, yeah. really iffy. Yeah. And we've tried to make the uh, council and the agents put fa the facts right, and they they know there's a problem, but they're not telling anybody. Which I think is sort of... Yeah. I'm not saying it's the agents, I think it's the council who's not telling anybody. I wrote to the leader of the council a few weeks ago, and we haven't had a reply from him either. Even, even the even the description on the on the plans are wrong. They're implying that the land comes along like this to here, which is not true. All the land it, it just follows this this, this building. You, as the lady from the road, you can just pick it out. Yeah, but on 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 the plans, and if you see the tender documents, it, it doesn't show that. So it's all yeah. whatever happens, it's going to be a it's an ongoing it's, it will be an ongoing legal fight after that. We. We fought with the council for two years over the over the drainage rights. Is there a there was a cesspit? There is a cesspit, yes, over there. But that's on, on our land. Uh, out the back door. Even if it's in the emergency, that's why we put fence up. The contractor was meant to have done that uh, two weeks ago, but he obviously didn't do it. Uh, that cesspit was put in before you bought the property, before you bought the land. Yeah, that, that went. Council, that, believe, that went. You see, it was the council put it in, believing that was their land, but it wasn't their land at all. <laughs> so, that was always, some years ago, was it? In the fifties. Right. So, uh, oh. so they've now relinquished all claim on that land and all. Yeah, they 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 took us to the land tribunal. Uh, trying to get right of access to the cesspit and right of access to the back door yeah. and they failed to do that right. which I think they put in the particulars yeah. so basically the property's got is as you see it's got no drainage rights mm -hmm. I, I think it's highly unlikely you can actually put it so we rented we, we rented this for 50 years off the council and always tried to buy it, but they 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 refused to buy it to sell it originally because it was part of the bridge. Although I think it is still technically part of the bridge. But, and we actually nearly settled with the council a couple of years ago, but I think a local resident has been stirring things up. So you know, God, this is more like the archers. Um, <laughs> you're, you're going to try and buy it now, I expect. Well, I well I don't know. It's I have to see. But it's not, uh, I think the council have not behaved in a very sensible manner. Yeah. Well, they spent a lot of money on that, obviously, because they fought us for two years, yeah. Yeah. And through the, right, it's been right up to the land registry, it's gone through the land registry, up to the adjudicator's office. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Anyway, we're going to be back. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 Okay.